There's seven common mistakes that new spread traders make. A really easy way to lose money fast is to spread bet without having an edge. Whenever you make a trade, ask yourself, what's my edge? If you don't know, you probably don't have one. And if you haven't got an edge, you probably aren't going to win. This video series features a range of strategies that can give you an edge in spread betting. You can be better at managing your money, planning your entries and timing your exits. You can even get an edge by knowing when not to trade. Whatever, just make sure you aren't placing trades for the sake of it. Not planning. Beginners are surprised sometimes at just how much planning successful traders do. Winners have a plan for the day and weeks trading and often for the month and year ahead. A good sign that you don't have a coherent strategy is if you rely on other people's tips. There's no shortage of share tipping services, but most don't have a record better than 50% and most tips only suggest an entry. They don't mention when you should close the trade. If you're relying on other people's tips, you probably they aren't making money. Betting the wrong amount. Not all your trades will be winners. In fact, a lot of your trades will go wrong. That's why it's important to get your bet sizing right. Even if you win more trades than you lose, if you win small amounts and lose large amounts, you won't make a profit. Not having any risk management. Most traders approach spread betting expecting easy money. They only concentrate on what could go right and ignore what could go wrong. Risk management means having a clear exit point for all your bets, so no individual loss can get out of control and ruin you. Getting emotional. Every time you place a bet, you might win. You might lose and you might break even. You don't know what will happen. However, if you have an edge over time, you'll come out ahead. Mistiming exits. People think that to win at spread betting, you just have to bet on the right thing at the right time. But perfecting your entry is only part of the picture. And in reality, most people would be successful if they spent more time honing their exits. What I'm about to say might sound obvious, but if the markets are going up, you want to be betting that they'll go up. And if they're going down, guess what? You need to be betting short. There are studies going back to the 1930s that show people have a bias towards going long. For some reason, people prefer to bet that things will go up, even if things are going down. Don't be afraid to adjust your approach to whatever the markets are doing.